Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to password protect a page in Squarespace. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to decide on the page that you want to password protect. So I'm going to scroll down and let's just do this example page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little gear icon next to it. You guys are going to love how easy this one is. I'm going to click on that and then this pop-up is going to appear. Just scroll down and you'll see password and here is where you type your password in. So I'm just going to type in a little password. Awesome. Click save. And it is now password protected. But there is one other thing that you're going to want to do. So click back up here. And then click on design. And then lock screen. And this is what people are going to see when you do have a page password protected. So the first thing that you're going to do is click change layout. And you'll see that there are a few different options for you to choose from. I do like this first one though, so I'm gonna leave that. And then click branding and text. And here is where you would type in all your information. So for example, I could type in my business name. And then I could just say coming soon. And I don't know, I'm happy with that. But if you wanted, you could add more text below. And if you want, you can choose to display the lock icon or not. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, click save and then back and then the next one is media so here you can add one of your own images so let's just do that quickly I'm going to click upload all right cool so click back again and then the last one is style click on that so here, this is just like the style editor, and you'll see all these different options um, that you can customize. So for example, I would want to make this overlay a bit darker. So I'm going to increase the transparency. All right, cool. And for, as an example, like with the lock, I can change the size of that. I can change the style. So go through and customize this however you would like, then click save. And that's all you have to do. So now when somebody goes to that specific page on your website, instead of bringing up the page content, it's going to bring up that lock screen that we just created. Awesome, and there you go, that's it. So really quick tutorial today. If you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments. That's it for this video. If you would like more quick tech tutorials like this, make sure that you hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.